Hello, and welcome to another OrgSync tutorial. My name is Josh Hanna, and today I will be showing you how to use the involvement tool on OrgSync. Students can use OrgSync to generate a verified record of their involvement to document experiences gained outside the classroom. This record is called the CalU Activities Transcript, and it can be used to provide talking points for job interviews, showcase your leadership experience and commitment to service, apply to grad school, you can even use it to apply for scholarships and awards while you're enrolled. Here's how to get started. Log into OrgSync at sai.orgsync.com using your CalU email username and password. Locate your red personal toolbar, hover over My Tools, then select Evolvement. This is a log of the activities and organizations you've participated in. You can also view pending and incomplete activities. These are outstanding items that you need to complete in order to display pending entries on your transcript. Select the Manage Involvement button at the top right of the page. You will see a list of every organization, membership, and activity you've been a part of on OrgSync, as well as any items you have entered manually. At the top of the page, you can search for specific entries by utilizing the filter. Search for entries based on status, report, organization, or date. Under the filter, you are provided a list of your organization memberships. For each entry, the organization name, membership date, and position are displayed. Below your memberships, you will find all your activities, which include the event name, date, hours participated, and host organization. By clicking on either the organization or event name, it will initiate a pop-up that allows you to edit entry information. Because these events and memberships often have to be approved, much of the information is not editable. Under the Reports column, you will see blue and green radio buttons. If the button next to the entry is highlighted green, it means that it will appear on your activities transcript. If it is grayed out, the entry will be hidden. This allows you to choose exactly what is displayed. The blue buttons represent your full involvement record. This is an unofficial record you can print at any time by selecting the Reports button at the top of the page. If you would like to add new activities or organization memberships, click Add Involvement Entry in the top right of the page and follow the required steps. You can preview your activities transcript by clicking the Reports button at the top of the page. Next, locate the Preview and Export options under Co-Curricular Record. This will provide an unofficial copy of what your activities transcript will look like. When you are happy with your visible entries, click Request Official Transcript at the top of the page. You will then be prompted to enter your email address. If you would like a paper copy, click the checkbox and enter a mailing address and the requested number of copies. Once your request is approved, you will receive an email notification and a digital copy of your activities transcript within a week. If you have activities that were entered into our old system, no need to worry. Activities documented prior to fall 2013 semester remain available to you until your graduation. When you request your transcript be mailed to you, we'll include those activities with your printed copy. If you require a digital copy of prior activities, please email Pam Delvern at delvern at calu.edu to have the file sent to you. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and remember that you can check out more OrgSync tutorials on our website or by subscribing to our YouTube channel.